information. The search for a missing woman in Arizona ends in Huntington Beach, where her body is found in the trunk of her stolen car. Police responding to a family disturbance call made the gruesome discovery. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Huntington Beach with more on the missing woman and a man arrested on suspicion of murder. Shelby. Sharon, Micah, how and when that woman died is still under investigation. But what we are told by authorities is that that person is under arrest. Disturbing new details coming to light after a woman's body was discovered inside the trunk of her own car, this red Plymouth neon in Huntington Beach. Police responding to a family disturbance at a home on Frimmel Lane Monday evening. That's when officers made the gruesome discovery and took 34-year-old Richard Paul Rodriguez of Arizona into custody where he was booked on one murder charge. Authorities say he had driven from Holbrook, Arizona to a home in Huntington Beach. That's where neighbors tell us his adoptive parents live. This neighborhood is really tight knit. It's um, terrible. I can only imagine what it's like to suddenly have your son being arrested for murder. Police have identified the body of the woman as 54 year old Christy Lynn Romero. Rodriguez's adoptive parents are heartbroken, sharing with KTLA that the two had been together for three years. Before Christy was reported missing, newly released surveillance video shows a stop police say Rodriguez made at a Chevron gas station in Arizona while on his way to California Monday. He pulls up at 1239 AM, seemingly unaware of where the gas cap is because he circles a few times. Christy is nowhere in sight. At one point, the suspect walks up and later appears to fill his tires with air. After a total of about 15 minutes, he leaves. Meantime, Holbrook police say the two lived together back in Arizona and had a rocky relationship. Officers were called to the residence several times for domestic violence. But on November 2nd, it all came to a head when Rodriguez was served with an order of protection. Officers ensured he moved out. It wasn't until yesterday police received a call from Christy's son who said she she was missing and so was her car. Due to the fact that the door had been kicked in and past um, involvements with these two, we felt that she might be in danger, so we entered it as a missing person in danger. Based on bank transactions, police say Rodriguez was on the move. We started receiving location data on her phone first, which put them near Quartzsite, Arizona on Interstate 10, and then it appears after that that her phone was turned off. His phone later tracked in California before his adoptive parents tell us he showed up at their home and they called 911. And Rodriguez's parents did not want to go on camera, but they do say that Christie's parents contacted them saying that she had been abducted. So when their son arrived at their house, that's when they called 911. They also say that he has been suffering from mental health issues since he was a child. Reporting live in Huntington Beach, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.